Are you tired of feeling tired? Frustrated that you can't rely on your memory anymore? Or that you just aren't as spunky as you were in your 30s, 40s, or even 50s? If so, your hormones may be to blame. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can take back control of your hormones and get back to feeling your most confident self. Hi, my name is Julia Lundstrom. I'm a neuroscience and brain health educator, as well as the CEO of Simple Smart Science. I hear it all the time from our clients in our memory guru coaching program that once they hit menopause, or even just retirement age, they just felt off and want to go back to feeling normal again. Hormones may be the culprit here. Today, we're going to be diving into the fascinating and intricate world of hormones and their impact on our cognitive health. Whether you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, or beyond, understanding how hormones influence our brain function is crucial in our quest to prevent cognitive decline and live a fulfilling life. First, let's appreciate the incredible power of hormones. These chemical messengers play a pivotal role in regulating various bodily functions, including how well or not so well our brain and bodies keep up with us. As we age, hormonal changes naturally occur. While we tend to associate any talk of hormones with women, it's important to recognize that men also experience some hormonal changes. Maybe not on as big of a scale, but they do. For both our male and female viewers, testosterone plays a vital role in promoting brain health, your energy and your focus. It supports memory and cognitive functions, fostering a sharp and agile mind. Starting from around the age of 30, men experience a gradual decline in testosterone production. 30. And they do this at a rate of about 1% a year. By the time men reach their 70s or 80s, testosterone levels may be significantly lower than in their younger years, resulting in an explained cause for memory issues. For our female viewers, hormonal changes become a little bit more complex during the aging process. We all know it to be true. You know, menopause, it's a significant milestone that impacts cognitive health. During this time, the primary female sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone, play a crucial role in the body and the brain. Menopause typically occurs between 40 and 60, and it marks the end of a woman's reproductive years. During this time, the ovaries produce less estrogen and progesterone, and a lot of times they're balancing each other, so you can have low estrogen and really high progesterone, and vice versa, Regardless, it leads to significant hormonal fluctuations. Estrogen plays a vital role in maintaining brain health. It supports neurotransmitters, it enhances blood flow to the brain, and promotes cognitive functions, including your memory and attention. During menopause, the decrease in estrogen levels can affect brain structure, actually how it, it's shaped and function, particularly in areas like the hippocampus, which is your main memory sector. So it impacts your memory and your cognition. Estrogen levels decline at an approximate rate of 35 to 75% during menopause. This decline can lead to various physical and emotional changes affecting your brain, your bones, your heart, and your overall well being. Estrogen has neuroprotective properties that support your memory and cognitive functions. As estrogen declines during menopause, some women may experience memory lapses, reduced concentration, lack of focus, and really overall changes in cognitive abilities. And some women will experience significant cognitive decline during menopause. These changes can sometimes be subtle and other times can be much more noticeable. But regardless of where you stand on the spectrum, the good news is we have the power to influence our brain health positively and our hormones by making lifestyle and habit changes. Doing this, we can support our brains during menopause and beyond, and for men as you get older as well, and reverse some of those unpleasant symptoms. But ladies and gents, fear not, menopause and other age-related hormonal changes are not a barrier. They are a threshold of empowerment. 
So embracing lifestyle changes like our 10 pillars of brain health can make all the difference. So five of our 10 pillars of brain health have a direct one-to-one impact on the health of your hormones. So let's take a look at those five, dive right in. One of our 10 pillars of brain health, exercise, stimulates blood flow to the brain, promoting cognitive health. Regular exercise is a powerful tool to support hormone health. Engaging activities like walking or swimming or or yoga not only improves mood and sleep, but also helps us to balance our hormones. Studies have shown that exercise positively influences hormone levels during menopause, and it can help alleviate some symptoms of menopause and really just improve your overall well-being. In addition, resistance training, such as weightlifting, has been shown to have a positive effect on both men and women. It's important to vary your exercise as well. So while walking is good, you do need to get your heart rate up and keep your muscle strength up. There's a direct correlation between your muscle mass and your cognition. So do some body weight training or weightlifting too. Our second pillar is nutrition. Yes, food is medicine. It is important to choose nutrient-dense foods that promote hormonal balance and healthy cognition. So make sure to include a lot of diversity on your plate from plenty of fruits and vegetables and whole grains and healthy fats. Omega-3 fatty acids found in fatty fish like salmon and nuts or even a fish oil supplement can support overall hormone production. And it provides the brain with the energy it needs since the brain is 60% fat. You've got to have your fats. Another thing to consider is phytoestrogens, which are plant compounds that have a structure similar to estrogen. So they can actually mimic or modulate estrogen activity in the body. Foods rich in phytoestrogens are things like soy products, edamame beans, flax seeds, chickpeas, and lentils. Eating some of these phytoestrogens has been shown to have a balancing effect on estrogen levels. And on the other side, a diet rich in fiber from whole grains, fruits, vegetables may help to regulate estrogen levels by promoting healthy gut function and aiding in the elimination of excess estrogen from the body. If that's something you're finding you're dealing with, having too much as opposed to too little estrogen, you can do that. On the other hand, we have testosterone boosting foods. Adequate protein intake is essential for testosterone production. Things like high quality lean meats and fish and eggs and plant-based options like beans and legumes provide the amino acids that we need to support testosterone. Another testosterone supporter is zinc. Zinc is a mineral that plays a crucial role in testosterone production. And so foods rich in zinc that you should add to your diet are like oysters and beef, pumpkin seeds and spinach. These can help to support your healthy testosterone levels. And vitamin D deficiency has been associated with lower testosterone levels. So eating a diet rich in vitamin D foods, such as your fatty fish and the the dairy products and egg yolks, or just getting an adequate amount of sun exposure can help maintain healthy testosterone levels. Plus, most Americans are deficient in vitamin D anyway, so it's always a good idea to see if you are in need of some additional sunshine or vitamin support. Next up, we have stress management. Chronic stress can disrupt hormone levels affecting both men and women. Stress can influence how hormones are metabolized and processed in the body. In some cases, stress may affect the balance between good and bad estrogen metabolites, which can impact overall hormonal balance. Chronic Stress can also suppress testosterone production in both men and women. Stress activates the HPA axis, leading to increased cortisol production. High levels of cortisol can inhibit the release of LH and follicle-stimulating hormone FSH, which are essential for testosterone production. So practice relaxation techniques such as meditation or deep breathing or spending time in nature to reduce your stress and promote hormonal harmony. So on the heels of stress, we have our fourth pillar as sleep. Quality sleep. We know it. We've heard it. Prioritize it. It's vital for hormone regulation. During sleep, the body undergoes various restorative processes, including hormone production, duh, and regulation. 
Proper sleep supports the natural rhythms of hormone release, including estrogen secretion. So for all you night owls out there, go to bed earlier. Poor sleep quality, generally seen as frequent awakenings or difficult falling asleep, can be associated with lower testosterone levels in men. So you want to aim for between seven and nine hours of restful sleep a night. You need to have a bedtime routine. I know you've heard it. Now do it. Go get your bedtime routine. It'll help improve your sleep hygiene and support your body's natural hormone rhythms throughout the day. And remember, I love to say it, a good night's sleep starts in the morning. So make sure you're reducing your caffeine intake, moving your body, and reducing your stress levels to ensure a good night's sleep. And last but certainly not least, we have our supplementation pillar. In some cases, supplementation may be beneficial to support hormone health during menopause and other hormonal changes. Herbs like ashwagandha and fenugreek are helpful for testosterone support, while red clover and black cuhage can be helpful for estrogen support. It's always important to talk to a healthcare professional before starting a new supplement regime to make sure it's the best fit for your needs. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today as we've explored the fascinating connection between hormones and brain health and how we can take matters into our own hands by making some simple tweaks in our daily habits and routines. Remember, chronological age is just a number, but biological age is something we can take control of. And it's never too late to embark on a journey towards cognitive well-being. Together, we can unlock the power within ourselves and take a natural and preventative approach to safeguard our cognitive health for years to come. Remember, you aren't you without your brain, and it's never too late to start this journey. To your brain health, go ahead and subscribe if you want to hear more of our 10-minute memory hacks every week. Thank you. 